Jill McCray coming to you from Grays Lake, Illinois. This is a French classical dressage training facility and teaching. And here we have Ambiente, 14 year old Mustang. She's been here for um, a couple weeks. And this is going to be our third session that we're filming. So what you're gonna see is I'm gonna put uh, start to introduce some tack. Tack means saddle, surcingle. Today she's going to be wearing a surcingle, a pad, boots, and a bridle. Okay, so we have, this is called a surcingle. Yes. This is, called, this is a saddle pad. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to be tentative because the more tentative the horse is, people tend to go, ah. So I'm just going to pretend like this is just normal order of go. I'm going to lay it gently on her back. I'm going to put the big part of the surf single over here. So this is going to be a fairly new sensation that she's going to have some pressure around her belly. Here. Just so it looks nice and tidy. And then I'm going to change my mind about the keeper because the keeper's too little. <laughs> so, no keeper. So I'm just, I'm just tacking her up as if she's my old steady Eddie. I have the lead right there. I'm not big on tying new horses because I don't, I'm, I don't want anything to scare them. Carefully come under. And I'm not gonna do like you see in <gasps> that cinching up horrible thing that ruins them for life. I'm going to do it very gently, just till I feel a little pressure. Then I go back to my original one. I don't want it super tight to begin with because it's not like I have someone on where the saddle needs to be tight. She's uh, resting that left hind. That means that she's pretty Gucci with everything. Next thing is we're going to put some boots on. Oh, staff! <laughs> you know, good help is hard to find. Bad help is even harder to find. Okay, so I'm going to put what we call brushing boots on. What's the purpose of brushing boot? It's in case they brush, they're not hurting themselves. This is not for support. And as we get down the road where the horse is doing lateral work, then it just will prevent any sort of injury. So I'm going to run my hand down right there on her fetlock. I pull it just till I feel the pressure. I'm going to move her over. Whoop. Put the other boot on, run my hand down, and I never have my face in front. I, I never put my face in front in case they pick their foot up. You just have to make that mistake one time in your life. Okay, now we're gonna put a bridle on. This is my lovely assistant, Alicia. Is it possible to do all this training by yourself? Absolutely, but it's a lot harder. So I'm going to keep the halter on. I'm gonna keep the reins here. We're gonna put her back into, her, into the corner here. Perfect. 
Mark, get set. We're in good. Ooh. Ear forward, that we don't fold it like origami. Nose band goes like, like so. And at this point, you leave the halter on? Correct. And then this is a little flash attachment. Make sure that's not too low. So this goes under. What, what this does is just helps her keep her mouth quiet so that she kind of accepts the bed. go over the head. They get twisted up. I'm going to take the, lung, the lead line, lead rope off. Then this is my, my lunge line. Just like I am doing with the little baby, I'm going to put it through the bit and I'm going to attach it to the buckle on the sur single. And she's ready for the racetrack. <laughs> Thanks for joining our stall talk.